Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Today, myself and... Phoebe. Hello Phoebe, give me some skin. Ow, that hurt me. <laughs> okay, um... We're making chocolate brownies today with some honeycomb in. Uh, this is from 15 in London. They're an amazing restaurant, so if you're ever in London, go and go there, and I'll tell you a little bit more about them at the end of the video, because they're more than a restaurant. They're a charity as well. Um, so basically, they did this competition on Twitter, and they do the most amazing brownies, as I say, and they said, if you can suggest an ingredient to put inside our brownies, and there was three winners, and we said honeycomb, and they sent us this amazing um, sort of chocolate brownie case. Can you see that? And even cooler is it's got the steps on how to make the chocolate brownie and the ingredients all on the back. So we're going to follow that and chuck in some honeycomb. Okay, so, are you ready, Phoebes? Give me some skin again. How are you feeling today, you alright? Fine. You pumped? Do you know what pumped means? No. So you, do you know if you're pumped or not? No. So why did you say it then? Because... Let's move on. Let's start. Yeah, let's start. Okay folks, obviously you don't know the ingredients, so just hit pause on the video now and write them all down. First thing... Oi! You okay? Yes. Right, you shouldn't really stick your head in the bowl, that's not really advice that we recommend. Phoebe is just pretending, aren't you? Yeah? Alright, cool. First thing we're going to do is grab our cocoa powder. Get it in that bowl like that, and it needs to be sifted. So, do you want me to hold the sieve or do you want to hold the sieve? Yeah. Okay, get the uh, cocoa powder then. Here we go. Yes. Okay, now tap the sieve, don't we? And why do we do this? Because in case it gets out. In case it gets out. Good advice right there. Right, Cheeky, look at this. Look at this cocoa powder. What does it look like in there? Have a look. Chocolate. It does look like chocolate, because that's what cocoa powder is, kind of. Right, okay, now what's this? Flour. Do you want me to hold the sieve again? Right, you pour the flour in. Let me hold it up a little bit. Oh, okay. That was close. Right. Shimmy it again, mate. What's this doing? Is it snowing? Yeah, it looks like snow. Alright, Phoebe, what do you think that looks like now? Um, that one looks like a volcano. And that one, um, it looks like chocolate and snow. It's like a chocolate volcano. Yeah. We made that before, didn't we? Yeah, and snow. A snow one. A snow volcano. Okay, that's cool. Right, okay, do you know what this is? Yeah. What's that? Um. It's a shot glass. Okay, you don't know what a shot glass is, do you? No. No, that's good. Um, do you know what's in it? No. That's called baking powder. Okay, <laughs> she doesn't really care, she's just like, yeah, just chuck it in. Okay, cool. Baking powder is in there, on there. What does it look like now? The same? Get that off your nose, mate. You look like you've been snorting it. Get it off. Right, okay. Last but not least for the minute, what's this? Sugar. Yes. That's a lot of sugar there. 350 grams. You're going to pour it all in? You got it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now what I want you to do, see yeah. that pink spoon? Here's another one. Thanks, mate. Yeah. yeah, give your spoon a very slow stir together. Mix it all in. Because if you stir it too fast, it's going to go now everywhere. It, now it looks like spiky snow. Spiky snow, it does. Okay, so Phoebe's been stirring that and she's making a bit of a mess there, but it's all good, you know. <coughs> oh wow, and she has snorted a little bit, but don't worry about that, okay? You didn't see that? I didn't see that. What does it look like now, mate? Chocolate snow. Chocolate snow, amazing. Are you ready to do the eggs? Yes. That's your favourite bit, isn't it? Yeah. Give me some skin. Okay, Phoebe has cracked three eggs in there already and she's just doing her last one. She's just smashing it a little bit on that bowl to get a hole in it, as you can see. And then all of a sudden, she just bursts it like that. It's a bit of a strange technique, as you can see. But randomly, she doesn't ever get any shell in there. It's kind of insane. It works. I don't know how it works. It's mad. You want to teach people how you did that? No. No? Do you want to just stir those eggs through there, mate? I'll take those shells out of the way. Stir them through gently. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Phoebe stirred that together for a little bit and now I have two as well. Look, we've got this funky, sort of sticky, gooey mixture. We need to liquidise it a little bit and to do that, what we're going to do is get our chocolate. We've got 200 grams of dark chocolate, there's 100 there, and Phoebe, she's trying to break it. Go on, give it a go. No? Yeah, watch this. See if you can do like daddy. Rah. Right, put that in the bowl. Alright, I'll break it for you. Put it in the bowl. Put that in the bowl. Put that in the bowl. 
put that in a bowl, and we're going to put it in there with 250 grams of unsalted butter, and we're going to microwave it. Can you unwrap that for me, mate? Here we go, let's start you off. Ah, I'm feeling it. It's like Christmas Day, mate. Best present ever. She didn't get butter for Christmas, if you're interested. Okay, Phoebe is just putting in the last of her butter. I broke it down into four chunks for her to make it easier. So what we're going to do is put this in the microwave and the chocolate and the butter is going to merge together. Do you want to use the microwave, mate? Yeah. She got a toy microwave for Christmas. She's like, I already know how to use a real one. So, uh, you ready? Why are you eating butter? <laughs> Why are you doing that? All right, Phoebs, where are you? At the microwave. At the microwave. And what happens, what does a microwave do? It does. What are we going to melt? Butter and chocolate, yeah? Alright, put it in. Good girl. Right, shut the door. And press that button once. So we're going to do it on 30 second blast, nice and easy. Take it out, give it a little stir. I'm not going to let her touch it once it gets hot, so uh, yeah, that's basically her involvement in the microwave process. Right, Phoebs? Okay then folks, that has been four blasts of 30 seconds, two minutes, you know, if you're interested in telling the time properly. Uh, there we go, so it's all nice and smooth and silky, let it cool down for 10 seconds. What we're going to do now, are you okay Phoebes? Let me see a massive smile then. <gasps> wow, that's scary. Okay, <laughs> alright, enough, you're scaring me now. Alright, let's pull this in. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll I'll scrape that in in just a minute, but for the minute, would you like to stir that together Phoebes? Yeah. Do it very slowly. Uh, try it. <laughs> it's a bit gluey. Okay, Phoebe has been stirring away loads there. It's been a, bit, a good five minutes and uh, it's a bit of child labour to be honest. Phoebe, do you want to stop, mate? Yeah. What does it look like? Cream. It does look like cream, doesn't it? Let's have a look. It's, it's actually quite smooth and that is exactly how we want it to be at the end. So I'm going to give it one final stir myself just to make it... No. What? No. Oh, sorry, mate. There you go. Right, yeah, that's a cocktail muddler. We're going to break up our honeycomb now. This is actual honeycomb that I haven't made, although making your own honeycomb would make it taste even better because I want Phoebe to be involved in everything. Chocolate on my hands. Um, I decided to buy a chocolate did, honeycomb bar. Did you said I'm in charge. You are in charge. Is that alright with you? Mm. You are. Right, okay. Let's put the honeycomb on there. Bash that up with this. Yes. Not too small, just enough, okay? That was just a hot chocolate bar that I just chopped the chocolate off and uh, I think she's enjoying that a bit too much. Okay, Phoebe's finished bashing that now and she's just shaking it around for fun. Do you want to open the bag, mate? Yeah. Yeah, baby. And we're going to pour it into our chocolate mixture. That really is smooth. It's like a chocolate lick. I do want to jump in. I want to put my swim cap on. <sighs> Straight in there, okay? Just show you it. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, Phoebe's ready to pour? In it goes. In goes our honeycomb, baby. A few chunks. That's actually, let's take that bit out. That's a massive chunk. No one will notice. Right, stir that through then, mate. I'm going to stir it in. This is the bit, I guess, where you can add in anything you want. So if you're making chocolate brownies or chocolate chips, just chuck those in. Yeah, baby. Okay, Phoebe's stirring this through, but also partially on the side, sort of like nipping little bits out of it, which is good, you know. One more then. One more then. All right, go on then. <gasps> stir the honeycomb through, and then we're going to pour it into our tray. Go on then, let's see a big stir. One more then. Right, I'm just doing a little inspection of Phoebe's work here, and it has all camouflaged. The honeycomb has gone in there, and you have been eating a lot of sugar, haven't you, off camera? Yes, she wants to pour it into the tray, but she's been nibbling away at the honeycomb and the chocolate. So she's going to be on a real sugar high like Spider-Man in a minute. So, Phoebe's... That's it starting. It's very important with the honeycomb when you stir it that you don't break it down as well. You don't want it to be a fine powder, or there's no point in being there. Phoebe's... <laughs> We're going to get it in the tray now. Okay, so we're just spooning the mixture in now into our case. Make sure it's all flat and smooth, all even all round. You will flat it, mate. You will flat it. So, uh, yeah, you want to make sure that it's not massive in one side and teeny on the other. Okay, so it's all in there and Phoebe is now just spreading it all around. Get it all nice and even and then we plonk it into our preheated oven, which is preheated to chuchung, depending upon your preference. Gas, electric, whatever. You might do a campfire. Maybe not. How's that looking, mate? You happy with that? Okay, try not to get it up the sides like that, but uh, she's doing alright. Look at that face. You alright, chocolate face? Is that heavy? Alright, cool. So this is going in the oven. I know it's a silicone tray, but we're going to put it on a, that baking tray just to make sure when I want to pull it out of the oven, I don't wobble it all over the place. I don't want to do that. And uh, Thieves has gone into singing mode. One, two, three, four. Boy, 
Yeah. See you in 25 minutes. Okay then folks, it has been 25 minutes. As it says on the back of the tray, give it 25 minutes or until it is springy to touch. I don't know if you can hear this. Can you hear it? It's sort of like all making sounds inside. It's all sort of cooling down and it is springing to touch, cha cha ching, like that. So hopefully we'll get a nice funky soft middle. So I'm going to let that cool down completely, get out the tray, cut it up, and then Phoebe is going to tell you what she thinks of them. Yeah. Okay, so the brownie's fully cooled and I've flipped them out of their case onto a chopping board and that is probably too big a slice for one person, although I'll give it a blooming good go. It's still a teeny bit warm as well, so that's how I like them. I'm going to slice them up. It's got some pretty cool incisions actually in it, uh, which is what was inside the case. So uh, yeah, nine massive squares coming right up. See you in a minute. Okay then guys, we've already started eating it off camera. I've got a bit of ice cream in mine. Massive slice there and Phoebe's having a go too. Do you like it? Big thumbs up or thumbs down? That's a thumbs up. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Yum, yum, brilliant. So if you like this video, why not check out um, 15's website where you can actually buy the tray we use and other products they do. And also, if you want to donate to them, it all goes towards the Jamie Foundation. Um, in fact, if I could live my time again as well, I probably would have done one of those apprenticeships like that they offer. You know, it's a really cool scheme. So anyhow, I'm going to give you one like, little show of me eating this, but I've been eating loads of it already. Mm, so good. Beef, anything you want to say? Just want to say bye? Mm. If we can make this, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let us know how you get on. And we'll see you again next time. Cheers then.